Hello and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. Going to try something a little different this time. We are going to round up the latest AMA for you guys. We will only do the most important and most frequently asked as there were a lot of the same questions. There were many more questions asked but I didn't want to add the TBD answered questions. Just the ones that have been answered definitively. As we all know TBD is just a swipe answer. A maybe, a maybe not answer. And it's pointless to cover them. If you enjoy this and want to see one of these for each AMA please press that thumbs up and let me know down below. The main question that people asked well more of a complaint than a question was to why NetEase hasn't just one for one Dev online and I will sum up their answer. This is not EVE Online, this is EVE Echoes. They want to make the game more accessible for newer players. Even the most diehard fan knows that EVE Online's learning curve is one of the hardest in MMO history. And they will also know that because of this, slowly losing players while gaining almost none. It is a vicious cycle. While I'm on the hardcore side of EVE players, I still understand that there needs to be simplicity and to keep people playing to keep the numbers up and growing. Simplicity is needed. And with that out of the way, let's get stuck into the meat of the AMA. And we will start off with the ones I get the most questions about in EE Discord, one of which has nothing to do with modules. The first one we will talk about is the trading system. Literally the most asked question I get, is there going to be player trading? And the answer from Nero, the system is in plan, maybe next week. I will write the setting document and discuss with the designers. My optimistic side is telling me this means we may see player trading next week, and you may think that too. But this most likely means they will start to talk about it properly in a week's time. We will see. And one that shocked me a little bit, but may not have shocked others, an answer from Melos. A little break of the rules. Since a lot of people are asking for corpse, corps are complicated to develop and need more time. It will come to the next test, not in this beta. Now the thing that shocked me wasn't that corpse will need more time, but the fact that there will be another test. Will this mean that there will be another wipe for the next test? Or will we carry through like alpha to beta? Let me know what you think down below. Another big question that many people are still asking every day. Will everything be erased for release? And the simple answer by Melos, yes. With that one out of the way, on to the next. One that I know is very important to you low budget PvPers out there, including myself. And that is to allow low tier ships to have mid slots to attach disruptors, scrams and webs. And the answer from Melos is pretty straightforward. I went straight for the no. And the reason for this? Because they are really cheap and sold by NPCs. You will see crazy cheap T2 frigate gangs and suicide ganking, and they just don't care about losing their ships. This might come across as a bad idea for some of you, but it's really not the worst thing that could happen. Pay to win microtransactions could happen. And finally, one of the ones which I find important for EVE Echoes, and that's the HP to DPS ratio, and how defenses are severely lacking and sometimes non-existent. Being able to be one or two shot is no fun for anyone, even PVPers like myself. I don't want to warp in and find a caracal and hope for a good fight, just to have it end in one barrage. The answer from Lance Dot, they are balancing the HP to DPS ratio based on server records and feedback. They do need to be more balanced, but that's why we have this test. A lot of you have complained on EE Discord, Reddit posts, and Facebook posts that missiles are too overpowered, and they are. There is an issue with missiles, says Nero, and they will fix it on December 27th. Now with those out of the way, we can move on to the less, let's say, top of the list of priority ones. Firstly, we'll talk about some of the more popular modules people would like to see. Interdiction bubbles, and the answer from Lance Dot. He goes by saying, I think they can't catch up on this test, maybe in the future. Another example of there being another test in the future. Tractor beams and the response from Nero. He mentioned that more methods to collect boxes are being considered. Warp scramblers. I personally ask this question as having the option to lock up and tackle any ship is dear to my cold roaming heart. And if this is important to you as well, the answer from Nero, they are on plan and they already have the items in their database and for us to wait for implementation. Another question asked, nothing to do with modules, but also a popular one, is bookmarks and if they will be added. The answer from Nero is yes, and more details are under consideration. Now for one of the features that a lot of capsuleers are interested in, exploration. Nero mentioned that relic sites and scanning will be implemented, but not in the near future. For all of you Covot Bomber fans out there, who are hating the 30 second decloaked targeting cooldown, you will be happy to know that Nero mentioned that they are looking to polish this. That about sums up the module AMA. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. If you would like to see this every week when the AMA is introduced, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, fly safe and avoid local chat scams.